welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will talk about the thermal comfort object which is normally used for floor heating or radiators. The icon can be configured to show a set point slider to change the room temperature, or to have multiple buttons to select the desired mode. The LED on the icon indicates the status of the valve. The color of the valve can be either red or blue, depending on if the thermostat is in heating or cooling mode. If available, the user can also control the fan speed. A schedule can be configured to automatically change the set point, by clicking on the button right corner of the icon. The schedule can take two forms, depending on the configuration of the object. It can be either temperature, or mode based. Once configured, the schedule can be launched by clicking the clock button inside the window. Now, it's time to learn how to configure the thermal comfort object. First, open your project and go to the page where you would like to add the icon. Click on Add, and select the thermal comfort from the list. Select the added object, and go to the properties to the right. Start by renaming your icon, then choose the desired bus from the drop-down menu. If your client wishes to change the temperature via a set point slider, then leave the extended UI disabled. If they wish to select modes instead, then enable the extended UI. The chrono thermostat parameter allows you to have a time schedule for the temperature or modes. To create a schedule, go to the system tab, click on system, and right click to add a chrono thermostat. In the properties, rename your object. If you want the schedule to override changes which are made manually by other devices, enable the four settings. When enabling the temperature mode, this schedule will be temperature based. If disabled, this schedule will be mode based. If custom range is disabled, the temperature range is between 14 and 26 degrees, for both summer and winter. If enabled, the ranges can be configured as pleased. Finally, the mode feedback group is used to send information on a bus, whether the schedule is running or not. Next, go back to the interface tab. Select your icon again and enable use chrono thermostat. You will see a list of all the chrono thermostat objects created in system. Select the one you wish to link to your icon. You can link multiple icons to the same chrono thermostat. The create chart parameter will display a chart of the temperature and valve position. Enable it if desired. Now it's time to link our object to the desired bus. If the bus type selected is KNX, enter the group address for the actual temperature. Select the set point functioning type by choosing absolute or base plus relative. If absolute is selected, set your set point slider step and enter the KNX group address for the set point and the set point feedback. You can also choose to have a custom range for the set point by enabling the corresponding parameter. This will allow you to have a minimum value for winter mode and a configured set point range. If a different summer mode is requested, enable the related parameter and set your desired values. Next, it's time to configure the valve. First, select the valve type. Then, choose whether the valve is used for both heating and cooling, or you have a different valve for each mode. Enter the related group addresses for the valve. Note that these groups are only meant to be read as a feedback by the server. They are not used to control the valve. If you have a fan to control, enable fan control. Select your fan speed data type, and enter the 1 bit group address to enable the fan mode, as well as the feedback. You can also choose to invert the functioning of the mode. Next, enter the fan speed command 1 byte group and the corresponding 1 byte feedback. You can configure your fan speed levels by accessing the collection and editing each fan speed. You can also add or remove speeds according to your site condition. The remaining parameters are common to most objects in the interface. You can scale your icon or change its position. You can also choose to have a visible background and configure as pleased. 
If you do not wish to view this icon in portrait mode, then disable the view in list. It is possible to link the icon to a pin, created in the system tab. Finally, it is possible to restrict some users from viewing this icon altogether, by going into restrictions, and selecting the allowed users only. Once you finish your configuration and upload the project to the client's device, you can now test your icon. If the extended UI parameter was disabled, a set point slider will be seen once you click on the icon. If a chrono thermostat was linked to this icon, you can access the schedule by clicking on the settings button at the bottom right corner. From there, you will be able to select the days of the week and configure the desired set point values per hour. You can also copy and paste the schedule to another icon. In case the extended UI was enabled, you will be able to set your temperature by selecting the desired mode. If a chrono thermostat object was linked to this icon, you can also access the schedule by clicking on the settings at the bottom right corner. Instead of having the temperature as the y-axis, you will have the different modes instead. Configuring the modes is as simple as clicking and dragging the desired mode at the correct hour. Thank you for watching. If you require further information, please consult our wiki page or send us your support request on the links shown on the screen, and remember to subscribe to our channel for future videos.